Why does self-diagnosing online put us at a huge risk? Before going to the doctor, we bet that almost everyone today looks online about their symptoms. Or even worse, they self-diagnose and start the treatment by themselves. How much information online is fake? And how does it harm our health? Let's take a closer look at it in this video. Kilo Health, a digital health and wellness company, ran a study of 1,004 American adults in 2022 regarding consumer health habits online. According to the study, 93% of Americans have searched for health information online at least once, and a whopping 82% have tried health advice they found online. What's more, 65% of people are likely to search their symptoms online before they contact the doctor when feeling unwell. There's a silver lining though. People use search engines to get more information about their symptoms. Still, that doesn't change the fact that people may not visit the doctor after self-diagnosing online or get stressed after checking unreliable information sources and coming to conclusions about their condition's seriousness. A systematic review of 69 studies analyzing the key health misinformation topics and their prevalence shows that misinformation is a huge issue. In some cases, 87% of posts reviewed included false claims. Also. The findings from an MIT research study show that false news stories are 70% more likely to be retweeted. Research from the American Psychological Association scholars confirms that misinformation tends to spread, too. A person susceptible to one type of misinformation, for example, about vaccines or cancer, is more likely to trust false information about other topics, too. When talking about digital health, it's ironic that 39% of people don't think the digital health apps will work for them, while 29% don't understand how these apps work. Also, 66% of all adults in the U.S. use prescription drugs. A higher percentage of this use is among the elderly, likely having chronic health conditions. Shockingly, the Kilo Health survey shows that approximately 54% of people don't take their medication as prescribed by their doctor. On a more positive note, online medical information has encouraged people to invest more in their health. With the rise of telemedicine and smart tracking devices, patients know how their health is faring overall. Kilo Health survey supports this in that more than half, 55% of its responses, recorded searching for healthier nutrition online. Exercise regimes, 51%, and sleep, 45%, were also among the top few key searches on health. Nonetheless, why we're still relying on misinformation online and not trusting certified digital health tools and doctor's recommendations is still a mystery. And this puts us at a huge risk when it comes to overall health. 